Welcome back to Jeebus Gaming, guys. We're about to go out and hit some of our favorite stores. Fingers crossed that we hit some huge, huge hauls tonight. Maybe some returns, some new stuff, anything like that. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe for awesome dumpster dive videos all the time. Also, smack that little bell icon because you want to get notified when we upload new videos pretty much every single day. So without further ado, let's go get some stuff. Alright guys, starting the night out at CVS and this stuff is still here and it's been raining today so I bet you that thing is gross, smelly and heavy now but nothing in here. There's a bunch of those weird fruity sodas but I don't even like them and they're going to be too heavy if I try to pick them up. It's not worth getting the claws. Um, they still haven't taken this one out. It's still everyone's personal trash. Gross. I mean, that would be something if I wanted to take it but unfortunately the donation places we go to, they don't take drinks for some reason. I don't know why, unless it's water. So we can't donate it and none of us like it. So we're gonna leave it there and head to the next spot. All right guys, so I'm gonna go straight over to the dumpster over here, Mark Bed Bath & Beyond because the other dumpsters, the row of dumpsters that I usually go to is outside of this roof and there's people up on the parking garage. Screaming. I don't know if you guys heard that. Alright, let's see. They're, like looking down at me, so I'm gonna hurry up. Empty. Alright, I'm getting back in the car now. <laughs> On to the next one. Alright guys, so we just got back home. The reason we didn't record much going out is because it kept raining. It was dry, then it started pouring down raining again, and go dry again, and then the pouring down rain just never stopped. So we figured we still grab as much as we can and then go home and go through it. But we ended up with two things we've actually never come across while dumpster diving yet, which is kind of weird. One, a bag of all kinds of random stuff, but from CVS. Usually the random bags come from Five Below, but if we find stuff at CVS, usually it's a bag of food. But this is a bag of all kinds of random stuff, which is kind of cool. And look at this. Ugh. From the movie theater. <laughs> so apparently one of the dumpsters behind the Bed Bath & Beyond area is a movie theater. And now we have a humongous, like three foot tall bag, it's like my size, of popcorn. It's it like so good. It looks so good and it smells <laughs> so good. Let me tell you, driving home with this giant bag of buttered popcorn was painful since I can't eat it. But that is a lot of popcorn. I mean, that's pretty heavy. Never found that before, but I had to show you that and we could not leave it behind, even though we can't eat it. Everyone else in the family loves popcorn. Can't make them suffer because I want to die. But let's see. What we got in the CVS bag? And this thing right here, I didn't know it was connected to the bag at first. Rip my hand off. My hand's cut here, and it's cut on my finger now because of this stupid thing right here. But at the end of the day, we got the bag. Let's see what we got. So, first things first, some pantyhose. This would go actually really great with the skirt I found yesterday. If you didn't see the Five Below video yesterday, check it out. I found a cool American skirt, and I think these would look great under it. And by the way, don't forget to somewhere in the video is the mystery word. Make sure you put it in the comments below because we do giveaways on the first every single month, which means one's coming up really, really soon. Probably announce it in the next video. So our most active subscriber. So make sure you put the word in the comments. Um, let's see. That's empty. Do my favorite thing. Just throw it aside. Ooh. We got some cold and flu medicine. That's kind of weird to find. Now the expiration is um, July 2018, but we actually Googled this on the way home because I saw one of these. One of these are in the dumpster, I had to get it myself, the rest is in the bag. So it says this stuff may lose like a little bit of its potency, but medication still contains most of the stuff that will still work for over a decade longer. So if you ever find medicine that's slightly expired, you may not be able to donate it, but definitely stockpile it because you always need this stuff at some point. There's no point in going out and paying for it. That thing had a $17 price tag on it, so that's 17 bucks saved. And we got another one of these i can make a whole bunch of lean you know i can be a rapper now i forgot the oh, what's the chemical there's a certain chemical i forgot what it was it's supposed to be in this stuff to actually make the drug out of it i forgot what it's called somebody tell me in the comments what it's called i literally completely forgot i feel stupid now but i know there's gotta be something in it i'm pretty sure it's not i bet if it has that in it you're pretty sure they have to destroy it but we got nighttime cold flu relief another nighttime cold flu relief uh another nighttime cold flu relief and more of this. This is a lot of money in medicine. Look, more of these. That's four packs, eight total bottles of this. I almost did a domino effect there, knocked them all down. Uh, five, no, six. Six packs of this. So that's 12 bottles. That's six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, 12 bottles. I think it has a daytime and nighttime. I didn't look at the front of it. We got, what is this? 
Oh, anti-itch cream. All right. I guess if I'm ever getting itchy, <laughs> we got that. We got, ooh. Okay, it says damaged on it, but as we've known from dumpster diving for so many years, 90% of the time, what damaged means is customer didn't want it, returned it, said it was damaged, and they had to throw it out. But this is actually a, like a, not a blood test, but the test your sugar and stuff like that. So that's actually pretty cool. I know these are not cheap either. It doesn't have a price tag on it, but I'm, if I remember correctly, I think these, I mean, even the cheaper ones are like 40 bucks. So that's pretty cool. And a bad thing we figured out is a lot of places you cannot donate medication. Like the stuff we found, they will not take it because they don't know the origins. I mean, it's still in the box seal. I mean, you know where it came from, but you can't take, they can't take it as a donation. So we're gonna be stuck with a lot of medicine. <laughs> Some pistachios. I love my nuts. Keep my nuts here and my anti itch cream with them, just in case. Get that joke? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Okay, uh, we got some pads. I guess I can go with the anti itch cream too. I don't want to get too bad here, sorry. Gotta stay clean, stay clean. Um, let's see, uh, some leggings, a size large. Maybe I can wear these under my skirt. How would I look, guys? Imagine me in a skirt, the sunglasses, and leggings. I think that'd be a pretty attractive sight to see. Ugh. Um, we have, what is that? A planner, January to December of this year. So not much time left on in a few months, but maybe someone will be able to take that as a donation. Up, oh, speak of sunglasses. Oh, they're broken, no! Well, hopefully the other, well, I don't even know what to call that, piece of it's in there. Because, hey, it still stays. It doesn't even fall off. I'll take it. Um, little hair piece. More medicine. Is it in there? Oh no, this one's empty. Trash. Uh, ooh, this is Irish Spring soap. This is actually the soap we use. So that's money saver right there. I don't think I ever found soap before, and at least not from CVS. So that's something new again. We get some more of that. Oh, of course they had to throw out some candy. Ooh, it has NFL teams all over it. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen these. These are little mini Snickers with NFL teams on them. There's a Giants one for smart people. And there's a Patriots one for gross people. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, yes. More soap. So two bars of soap so far. That's actually good. What is that? There's a Tylenol, too. Like, you never know when you're going to have a random toothache headache. And there's twenty only 24 capitalists, so. But still, 650 milligram Tylenol. I mean, that's, what, maybe five bucks or something like that? If I can save five bucks, I'm happy. Hey. Well, I thought we were done with these, but we got another pack of those. That's seven packs of that medicine there. What do we got here? Ooh, some signature chocolate collection. That looks good. Oh, there's a white chocolate truffle in there. I would rip this open and devour it in two seconds. And it's good until February 28th, 2019. So no idea. Like I said before, I'll say it again. I'm convinced they just walk around a store and pick things at random and it's just still trash it. Sealed. It's still yeah. <laughs> it's not even open at all. It makes no sense That's a at really all. Good brand too. It's probably expensive. I bet it is. Um, let's see. Some more random junk. Uh, what do we got here? This is <laughs> eczema therapy for babies. We're getting uh, quite a lot of random medications and stuff like that, which I guess we'll probably end up just like listing on the free section of Craigslist. If somebody needs them. Because we're not going to need this many. We'll definitely keep some for the future, but this is kind of overkill right now. Um, more medicine. It looks like it has a kid on it, so I'm assuming it's kid's medicine again. Put that there. I'm trying not to block my beautiful sign. Stay there. <laughs> what else have we got going? Oh my gosh. Well, eight of these now. A lot of cough syrup. I'm telling you, I'm going to become a rapper. Next time you see me, I'm going to have dreads, face tattoos all over my face, saying stuff that nobody understands except for me. That's what I'm doing next. Sculpting paste, maybe that's like facial cream. Like when I hear sculpting, I think of like physical sculpting. Like you're gonna take a big block of cement and make something out of it. But I don't know. We got a fan. Yes, it's been hot lately, but it doesn't work. Probably dead batteries. What else we got in here? Some gentle eye makeup remover pads. I wish we find more bags like this from CVS. It's just interesting. I like the randomness. More soap. This isn't an Irish Spring, but it's Olay soap. Soap is soap. That's three bars of soap we've done found. Up some more nighttime medicine, too. So we'll put that here. That's five boxes of this now. And I think it was eight of these. So a lot of cold medicine. I ain't getting no cold. I ain't getting no digestive problems from the other videos. and ain't getting no cold. Aw. <laughs> that one's out of the box, but I mean. It's Olay. It's 
still alive. Oh gosh, that's a good play. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'd use it because it's out, but still. Maybe I'll put it on the sink and use it to wash my hands. I don't know if I'd wash my body with it. That's kind of weird. Uh, there's that. I don't really know what to call that, but there's that. It looks like a solar powered thing. You it put does. It, on, like, it looks like it's car. a solar panel right there. But there's that. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, this is a re return on it. It has a return tag on it. Looks brand new. Some type of lipstick. Again, with lipstick, I have no idea if it's a dollar or if it's $50. That's the problem. That's why I usually don't play with makeup. $1, $50, all looks the same to me. Uh, what else we got in here? Some more pills. Just a broken wrapper. Is the seal still intact? Yep. Or no, it's not actually. Maybe that's why it's in the trash. The seal's broken. So I'll probably end up throwing that away. But it was some B12 medicine. But I ain't gonna touch no medicine that's obviously been opened. Uh, what is this here? Miracle oil? Anyone know what miracle oil is? Tell me, because I have no idea. Does it let me perform miracles? Can I turn water to wine with that? That'd be pretty cool. Uh, what else we got in here? Yes, another bar of soap, dial soap. That's four bars of soap now. I'm saving money, I'm in a happy mood. Hey, I just bought these not that long ago, one night when we were out dumpster diving because I had a headache. But it's a little, it looks like chapstick, but it's actually a small thing of ibuprofen. And the date on it is 520, so it's not bad for a while. And obviously the seal has not been broken. But even with medication, you can't donate it, like I said earlier. You, but it's good way past expiration. Hey, this one's complete. Why is that in the trash? Oh, because that's scratch. No, that's not even a scratch. It's just dirt. These look like prescription notes. I'm not putting them on because I really don't want a headache. But I mean, I have ibuprofen and Tylenol, so might as well not. Okay, I feel more weight in here, but I don't see much. Hey, another one. Yes, these are awesome. Cause I get random headaches and I get stress headaches a lot. Maybe not in the summer, but once school starts, I'm gonna go through the ibuprofen. <laughs> like, I don't know what. Uh, looks like we got an eyeliner, maybe. Makeup people, you tell me. Um, what is this? Just a little gift bag? I think that's literally nothing more than a gift bag. A $2, I was a gift card holder. Uh, let's see. More of the hair things. I mean, I think that's only right that I have to put one on. Does it keep my hair up? You can't even tell I have it on, can you? <laughs> I feel stupid. I like trying stuff on. Um, let's see, let's see. Come on, give me more, give me more. Another eyeliner here. Is it... Nope, brand new. Not open. At least it's not opening for me. Or maybe it's screw. That's why. I'm just stupid. Oh, that's not eyeliner. Is it? I have no idea. It looks, it looks like it. Makeup it... people. Tell me. <laughs> let's say I don't even know. <laughs> tell me. Oh my gosh, we got another box of this. Is it the same thing? Yes, it is. A lot of medication here. Hey, artificial tears. I mean, I don't use them, but you use them sometimes, right? Mm -hmm. So, that's brand new. Seal's still broken. Box is just ripped, so they had to throw it out. Terribly oh, bad. We got that. Yeah, I think that's it. What is this? Okay. Just go ahead and zoom up on that. And we got that. I'm not going to go into any more detail on what that is, but I'll just call it an insert. <laughs> we got that. Maybe we put this this itching cream combo right here. Hey, you do you, people. Let me make sure that's really it. Uh, yeah, the rest of it is just completely trash. All right. So, it kind of sucks that it was raining so hard when you get to record going out as much, but all kinds of stuff here, plus... Ugh. Mega bag of popcorn. So overall, I'm still happy with this haul. Really, really happy to tell the truth. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button for also awesome dumpster diving videos all the time, pretty much every day when we're home. If we're out of town, we might take a break. But if we're home, you can pretty much expect new videos every single day. And don't forget, we're now selling dumpster diving t-shirts. You can click the link in the description. We even have this one in here, but it looks better. Mine's all old and dried out. If you want a new, cleaner looking one, they're in the description below. Social media links in the P.O. box if you guys ever want to send us anything. All that's in the description too. A lot of stuff in the description, a lot of stuff to remember. But I think I said everything. Don't forget there was a mystery word somewhere in the video. Put it down in the comments because the giveaway is coming really soon since I think the day you'll be seeing this is after the first. Not 100% sure on my date. So thank you so much. And until next time, peace out.